A very warm welcome, everyone. I, Dr. Nishan Sharma, on behalf of Voice of Healthcare, thank you all for joining us today as we pay tribute to the exceptional healthcare professionals who tirelessly look after our well-being day and night. Voice of Healthcare, along with our supporting partner Apollo Hospital, has taken an initiative to recognize National Doctors' Day through our video series Know Your Doctor. This series aims to showcase the diverse interests and passions of our esteemed doctors. On this National Doctors' Day, let us express our gratitude to these extraordinary individuals. So, to start with the introductions, I would like to welcome Dr. Kunal, consultant urologist at Apollo Hospital. I wish you a very happy Doctors' Day, Dr. Kunal. Thank you so much. Thank you, and same to you. Thank you, sir. So, to start with the questions, I hope you're ready with the answers. So, yeah. the first question will be: Are there any particular challenges or obstacles that you faced in your medical career? And if yes, how did you overcome them? See, the first challenge that I faced was the education part itself. You no, know? uh, uh, early in my career, I had decided that I'll end up in super specialty, and uh, mm -hmm. getting into super specialist uh, career in uh, India it is very difficult. It was a hell lot of exam of two years. I gave more mm -hmm. than twenty entrances in two years just to get into my desired uh, branch and desired college. Mm -hmm. And even after that, getting into super specialty. we have to work through it for 3 years and uh, the workload and the care which we have to give along with that workload long working hours no sleep mm -hmm. at all no food for at least first year of our uh, i mean the training and mm -hmm. then the thing started here yeah, we uh, started finding the way how to work through it and to give our uh, maximum uh, i mean the benefit to the patient so that uh, the three years the formative years of our mch urology it was very difficult but then mm -hmm. now we those things that we i mean we we are trained uh, in a better way so now we can handle that patient load and also see the our branch it is not a cost uh, uh, benefit ratio it is a cost care ratio i always say if somebody is investing okay. some money for you then you have to give that much care also so all these things in first 3 years or 4 years of my career i learned in that training so it is not only mm -hmm. learning about the subject it is about uh, giving that utmost care giving utmost result in a maximum manner and also not getting annoyed even when you know that you have not slept for whole night and you mm -hmm. have a patient then that training was very difficult for me So I think it's all about your hard work and your perseverance that is actually uh, for for the care of your patients and and so forth. Yeah. Yes. So moving on to the next question, uh, what do you think are the latest advancements and breakthroughs in urology the, uh, that that you feel have significantly improved the outcomes of uh, you know, diseases and and has a better impact on the patient's health in general? If if we go a little back in history, you know, before twenty thirty years. everything in surgery or everything in urology was putting a big incision and taking the things out taking the organs taking the stones out for example in urology as time progressed we have progressed mm -hmm. to a minimal invasive world so right. latest of me now we are all trained in robotic urology okay so the latest thing that has happened to urology is the robotic urology mm -hmm. thing uh there is a misconception when doctor talks about robotic urology people think that a robot is going and operating on the patient and not the doctor mm -hmm. the doctor along with the robotic technology so that has changed the way uh, mm -hmm. we were looking at the diseases and the outcome of diseases also so mm -hmm. what i always say in urology we have moved to a minimal invasive thing where we are doing surgeries through small holes small incisions making the i mean the pain is less and the patient goes home the very same day so that mm -hmm. is called minimal invasive which is very good in urology along with it this robotic thing it has just revolutionized urology so uh, we are uh, getting good results less pain and the i mean the uh, uh, patient uh, who is here for suppose one day and he goes home the very next day so that is very good that is something which is very good in urology nowadays So I think uh, the more that doctors are are practicing, the more intuitive they are getting, the more uh, medical breakthroughs we are seeing. So, obviously, uh, with this, I would like to ask you one last question. This is more on a personal front. Uh, so, what is the message that you would like to give to all your fellow doctors on this National Doctors Day? I I always believe in one thing: if you work hard early in your life, 
I mean, in the formative years, your your life becomes easier afterwards. Uh, on a serious note, also, what I we have seen that. the work and the relaxation ratio what i always see is not good in doctors and doctors uh, if you see my fellow doctors uh, they will also boast that oh i was working 20 hours a day not getting mm-hmm. enough sleep but that is not very much i mean good thing nowadays to boast upon what i'll say you should have a a very good uh, ratio uh, i mean if you divide your life you give proper time to your family and you work hard also for mm. your patients but there should be a very balanced ratio also don't go mm. after work work also mm. because even if you feel that no you have to work for the patients you'll only be able to work if you live that enough suppose sure. if you work very hard and you are not able to i mean you are not healthy and you i mean you will be tired you will be annoyed and a day will come when you will be so saturated that you will stop working the way you used to so it should be a perfect balance work very hard sleep a uh, good have a good food and also enjoy your life also in that constraints also that is what i will always tell all my doctor friends it's lovely lovely to pick your brain dr kunal uh, thank you for for your time and uh, with this i would like to end the session here i'd like to thank you i would like to thank all the doctors uh, who've selflessly served our nation's health and uh, together let's salute their dedication compassion the unwavering commitment to our health so i thank you thank a lot for saying and uh, happy doctors day yes sir. thank you thank you